Hey guys, uh, this is Brian again. Uh, just want to give you guys a little update uh, for something new. I got A5, okay, with the J and J ceramic barrel and basic. It's like the Switch 2012, I think, model or 2013. I don't know, same thing. Okay, today we're doing something special. The one that I ordered for from Trinity Paintball. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, let's open it up. I got my box cutter. Open it up. It's very, very friendly. And uh, this kit costs one hundred and eighty dollars. Not too shabby for a five-piece kit. Try not to cut it. And from here, looks beautiful already. Okay, so the five piece comes with a uh, 10 inch barrel uh, from Trinity, a uh, Trinity mag, uh, flat dark earth, or one I ordered, a uh, shroud for the A5, and it comes with a MOE stock, the ones that I like. Nice, nice. And uh, angle foregrip. I don't know why they gave me a black. It's supposed to be tan. And a uh, flat dark earth. Uh, ang I mean, uh, real ladder guards. They're ladder guards. Uh, I think I'm gonna call Trinity about the foregrip or uh, something. And uh, gonna go call them later. Tell them that. They messed up my order. That uh, they uh, got the wrong one to me, so I'm gonna call them later about it, or I'm gonna spray paint it, no matter what. All right, first off, I want to start off with the sights. Get them off. So I'm trying to, try to work with you guys here. Yeah. Okay. So uh, first thing I want to do is take my flathead, loosen up my red dot. Uh, my red dot I got from Walmart is like uh, 40 bucks. Uh, so, okay. Next thing I want to do, took off my hot dog. Got some squishy paddles in here. Took out my barrel. First thing I want to do is work on the shroud. Um, shroud would be nice to work with first. So, I'm wondering how this is going to go. Okay, most likely they're going to give me this screw for the back screw over here. So, uh, I'm just trying to the first thing I want to do is take my 1 8 Allen key wrench, take out the front sight over here. Okay, got my front side out. Uh, looks like uh, I'm gonna first insert it through here. Uh, what you want to do is uh, take the clocking, cocking handle and kind of like maneuver it. Keep on twisting, twist and turn, and it should fit. There's something like that. Don't really want to do it by force, so uh, what I'm going to do is screw down. Kind of like okay, it's not working, but I heard on the other videos just take your one eighth and just uh, screw the Allen keys. It's a good thing to give me a set of Allens over here. Trinity. Uh, one hundred and eighty dollars. Not bad. Not bad. Still not working. Okay. So I guess 
and then I have to readjust what I'm going to do is uh, kind of uh, take my uh, my uh, 316 take out the foregrip that is connected I mean uh, just take out my cyclone like that make it life easier and I'll um, take the shroud kind of slide it in perfect Oop. okay at the same time I want to push this back pin out and kind of work it in come on work it There we go. I uh, need to force it in, kind of like. Okay. What you want to do is kind of like screw it in using the one eighth. Gotta watch the end over here. Gotta watch it. Gonna work it out with the, the Allen key that they gave me. Oops, sorry, guys. Clumsy me. But work it. Nice and secure. Now I'm going to put my cyclone feedback. It's just easy fit, snug. Take my 316 and kind of like screw it in. Push. This kit is giving me a problem. I don't know why they're giving me a problem. Okay. go screw it in finally nice and uh tactical now a little bit okay nice and sturdy gotta push my push pin back well actually hold on that um, I'm gonna take my new stock my new MOE stock nice Sturdy. I guess this locks the place of it. You just want to keep that locked. So, what I'm going to do is push the back pin. Don't be afraid to use your Allen keys. Come on, baby. Got to use some force. Get me all worked up now, getting mad at this push pin. Fuck. <sighs> Hold on, guys. <sighs> what am I gonna do with you? Okay, try it again. Okay, now I'm gonna push. Sometimes these push pins are in the painting. Yes, don't know why Tipman even put these push pins back. Make life easy on my butt.
Come on. God, make my life so hard right now. There we go. One more push. Whew. Well, that was pretty damn hard. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what you want to do is carefully pull it out. I got the spring kit. Well, the spring kit for the A5s. Make sure it's nice, snug. No matter what, make sure that they come with the O-ring you're stuck. You don't want your gun leaking. Which in this case comes with it. Nice. Okay, fit it back into the bolt. Giving me a hard time again. Okay, there we go. Nice and snug. Okay, now take your two push pins and insert them back. Life is so hard with these push pins now. It's like I regret buying an A5. Sometimes. And these push pins are such a pain in the ass, Tipman. Really, sometimes. They are just a pain in the ass. And it pisses me off. Because you guys don't do anything about these push pins. You know that it's hard for people sometimes. I'm gonna make life easier for us. There you go. Nice. Snug. Right now it's snug right here. Nice and uh, good. Alright. Next portion we're gonna be doing is the magazine, which they will be replacing. God damn it. No, not you know Trinity. This is what I think about your magazine product. Okay, your packaging. I thought it was gonna be a Ziploc bag. Jeez, man. Get me all worked up. Alright. What you wanna do is you take get rid of uh some of these uh it comes with uh the lap I mean the Trinity uh or Lapco or whatever. They should come with uh, Allen keys and uh, also uh, new screws to replace the push pins. Thank God, gets me all mad and stuff. Trin and like, really, Tipman, go go, step up your game before other places go. Like BT replacing you, you know. Gotta hurry up, man. Gotta get rid of these push pins. You're gonna be mad. Or we'll make easier push pins. Sorry about my complaining, guys. Yeah, you guys can, like, feel like you suck. Blame everything on Tipman. Which I love to do since they just want to mess up my order. Maybe of, like, chaos and all that shit. Oh, fuck you guys. You know? Get me all worked up now. Alright. What you want to do is uh, the front two push pins up here. And also this little small Allen wrench. Take your uh, one eight. Unscrew this one. All right. The reason why I'm keeping my uh, front foregrip is because it leaves that uh, nice magazine close to the magazine hole for close quarter. Uh, that's my my. Uh, this is what I call my opinion. Yeah. Snap mill. Push pin over here. Ow. And then a push pin over here. Which I should have took the cyclone feet off a long time ago. And uh, what you want to do is you want to flip the magazine. Okay. Gotta loosen up the cyclone. 
again. Okay, well we'll loosen it up where the screw doesn't give me a hard time again. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna pull it out from the hose, or since it wants to give me a hard time too, I'm just gonna unscrew the the housing for it. Makes life so complicated, you know. All right, my cyclone feeds out. What I want to do is I want to slide. Okay, that's set, and now I'm going to start putting the first new, well, not push pin, but new Allen screw in. There we go, nice and fit. Now I'm going to put the second one in. Okay, what you want to do is what I think is if you have your own set of Allen keys, good job. That's and then because they come with the allen keys you hold it to your other thing put the new screw in the other end of the screw kinda wanna work your way around just trying to find it take your allen key take your one eight and just start screwing it and on the other side you're holding it because both sides they're gonna have uh, two opening you can open it either way it's, uh, it's uh, what I call you can use it all okay so what I'm gonna plan to do guys is magazine right it's like plasticish alright and what I'm gonna do is either paint it black make it tactical looking okay and there goes one now I'm gonna move it to the second top and I'm gonna fill in the other end alright take my one eighths again and I'm gonna screw it in okay tight nice and snug not that too tight and I'm gonna take the new screw that they came with with the Allen key that they gave me and I'm gonna just screw it in alright since that's in Look at that, nice and tactical looking. Alright, it looks like a 416 kind of like if you take off the explore grip. But uh, for now, I'm going to keep it there. So uh, that's good. Uh, what I want to do now is put my cyclone feeder back. Okay, with the same time, I'm going to, while I'm holding it there, I'm going to screw it back to the side where the connects to the air alright alright I'm screwing it in uh, what I recommend you guys is uh, go to trinity.paintball.com or just google it google them and uh, I recommend some kits uh, if you guys like the Milsig look, Milsim, Mil Sim, sorry guys, uh, kind of nice tactical feel to it. This is uh, like the foregrip over here. And since I'm going to call them about this, I'm either going to spray paint it, keep it maybe, and I'm just going to go up front, how it's supposed to be up here. Alright, and uh, since they bubble wrap my Trinity paintball uh, barrel, it's uh it has a M4 muzzle brake kind of like, and as uh, guessing this is a two piece. If it's might be a two piece, this might be adapter. I'm gonna try to figure it out right now. Sorry guys, ah, auto adjust is annoying. Okay, does not. I'm gonna screw it in the front. Nice. So uh, I'm thinking right now, since there's like a few inches over here, I'm going to add that uh, M16 front sight over here. Probably like a flip up sight on the front. And uh, since there's a, like a 416 kind of look to it over here, I'm probably either going to push up sights or maybe. I don't know. It depends right now. Okay. Um, 
since I'm finished, I got my right dot. I like my sights sometimes, and uh, I'm going to put my hopper so I can know where I put my sights, my red dot. Mm. Alright. There's that milsig look to it. Nice and tactical how it was. And now it's just a matter of positioning your red dot where your red dot is either front, back, or something. And I'm going to like it over here. And that's. I like them, right in the back somewhere. Sometimes, uh, magfed guns maybe get me interested. Now I'm planning to get one, either the Force 468 by RAV4, but uh, I heard some people had a bad time at uh, the Ops uh, cell, cell Team 6 or something. Okay, and uh, what I ordered was rail ladders with them. It comes with a kit, flat dark earth. And uh gonna push it onto the top here. Like my uh my pic picatinny rails protect it from either dirt, dust, paint balls, from just rip it off, clean them. Okay, these are to protect your rails from getting from damage. Uh this one's not gonna fit because the hopper's blocking away. Uh, and these, right, guys? You guys can cut them. Uh, it's not like they're one piece where you can't. You take a razor, like this, and you can cut them. What you do is you mark them first. You're going to have to count how much you're going to need. So, I'm going to see right now. One, two, three, maybe. Up to here. So, I hold it where I need to cut it. Okay. And. I'm gonna count right here and just push down on it and I'll cut. Push down and cut. And my rail is cut. Ooh. Oh god. Okay, you guys. Um. Hold on, be patient with me, real quick. Uh, and if you guys want to take it out, just take a screwdriver, something, just peel it off from the side. Under count it. What we'll try to do is move it up for now. Make it look nice. Uh, okay, take my screwdriver, push, and. Peel, push and peel, push and peel. Kind of like that. And, uh, I think this is mostly it. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. My tactical rail and all that stuff. Looks pretty nice. Sorry for the autofocus a lot, guys. I'm sorry I'm late sometimes now. And, nice tactical. Love, love the MOE Magpul original. Nice, nice and firm right here. Don't need to pay for those shrouds that go all the way out. Gives a new pick in the t Picatinny rail. All right. When you guys know what I'm talking about, sometimes there's aftermarket ones that go on top of the A5s. Okay. And uh, what I would like to change about the cocking handle right here, like. Give a little s space, kind of like, kind of like the shroud is blocking in a little bit. Okay, overall, not too heavy. All right, the shroud. There's a lot of weight going to the front now because the shroud is uh, metal. So the Picatinny's are plastic. Okay, and what I did was to even it was just put my scope in the middle, more like into the back, just to push it back down. Uh, looks good I like it and uh, all I'm gonna do is uh, play ball today I mean uh, next week today wow guys next week uh, get this primed up painted black have this little tan thing over here or I'm gonna either spray my grip tan or something nice you guys know how I do it 
So, enjoy the video. Thank you. Like and subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching, guys.